All right, what's going on, people? So in today's Grand Theft Auto V adventure, we're going to steal a tank from Fort Zancudo, which is definitely a difficult task to accomplish. So the first thing you want to do is go to ammunition and buy the best armor, armor, excuse me, available, and that's the armor in the bottom right corner. So let me tell you, I died about ten times trying to steal this it tank. Not, it is no yeah, joke no in Fort Zancudo. It took minutes. me about over a half an hour to finally figure out how to do it because I was going about it the wrong way. Then I, you know, I thought about it and then I figured out a more methodical way about how to get it done. So Fort Zancudo, they are, it's an army base. It's a military base. So you know they're armored up to the teeth in there. That's why I recommend that you buy that armored vest because the the soldiers in there alone shooting at you can kill you easily within a few hits let alone the tank that can destroy you with one shot of course out of its cannon you, the guys and the soldiers just walking around and then you got the guys riding around in trucks and humvees trying to take you out so it's very difficult so after you get the armor next thing you want to do is obviously go to fort zancudo and i believe i showed that location on the map now, when you get there, you can either, you're going to need to break into it um, with a vehicle. So you're either going to want to steal that cab from uh, the guy who drops you off, or me, I used a cheat to uh, spawn um, a vehicle in front of me because I wanted a faster vehicle. So next thing you want to do is basically stake out. You want to do a stake out right at the entrance of Fort Zancudo. This is what I was doing wrong. Every single time I was just driving in there and searching frantically for a tank. That's not what you want to do. What you want to do is pull up right in front of the uh, the base. Don't go in and look at the top left of your screen. The tank in Fort Zancudo makes rounds around the base. So that's you need to stake out and wait for it to come around the corner. When you see it come around the corner, you need to charge it. Now the alarm in Fort Zancudo is a little inconsistent, so it might trigger immediately, it might take a while, but you need to pull up right next to that tank as soon as you can. And you need to be careful because the nose of the cannon can actually hit you and knock you down, and every single moment counts. Now the reason why you wanna pull up right next to it with the car so you will be too close in range for it to hit you with its cannon and then you'll obviously uh, be in easy pro in close proximity to immediately take the guy out of the tank and then get in because getting inside the tank does take a while as you saw and you can get shot while trying to get in and then after that you will have a lot of law enforcement after you most likely you will have a four star and after blowing up a few vehicles maybe a plane as you're gonna see i get five stars now keep in mind the tank is not invincible it can be disabled and it can be destroyed so there are several levels of difficulty with actually even just getting the tank and then actually escaping with it i'm gonna tell you right now i didn't escape with it i was just satisfied enough that i actually got it out the freaking base and got it as far as I did. I was just happy about that because I, I was at it for so long and I'm telling you, it, it's so satisfying when you finally, finally, you know, just, just steal it. Now, actually escaping with it while having four or five stars is another freaking task, which I don't do. That, that challenge is completely up to you to do. But you're gonna love that feeling of being in that tank and having all that power and causing that five-star rampage. I'm telling you, it feels great. So that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Try it out. Let me know how it goes for all of you. And I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.